Hey guys, welcome to Tabi Eats. This is Shinichi, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Japanese style strawberry shortcake. Now, if you've had Japanese style strawberry shortcake before, you know how different it is. Japanese style cakes are much fluffier, they're way lighter, and they're not as sweet as your Western counterparts. Now, I know I've made one in the past, but that one was made using a pre made store bought cake. Today, I want to show you guys how easy it is to make one from scratch. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, this is what we're going to be using for our sponge cake today. We're going to be using two eggs,、um, they should be at room temperature, three fourth cups of sugar, and three fourth cups of cake flour, two tablespoons of melted butter, and two and a half tablespoons of milk. Now, today I'm going to be using this uh, uh, paper cake pan. That's already lined, but if you're using a regular cake pan, make sure to line it with parchment paper so it'll be easier for you later on. Also, this is a good time to preheat the oven to 170 degrees Celsius or about 340 degrees Fahrenheit. So, to get started, we're gonna crack two eggs into a large bowl and give it a quick whisk around 30 seconds. Next, we're gonna add our sugar into the eggs. We're also gonna give this a quick mix around. Just until the sugar is incorporated into the egg mixture. Now, what I have here is a pot of water that I have boiled and set aside for about 10 minutes. Now, you don't need that much hot water because you really don't want the bowl to be directly touching it. Keep mixing until the sugar has completely dissolved and the mixture is warm to touch. Next, we're gonna beat the mixture with an electric mixer on high speed for about 3 minutes. Now, if you don't have an electric mixer, it's okay to use a whisk. Now, if you are using a whisk, you might have to beat it for an extra three to four minutes. Now, did I mention that mixing cake batter can be quite therapeutic? Okay, once it gets to this nice smooth texture, we're gonna lower the speed to low and beat for another minute. Alright, l guys, we're just about finished with the batter. We're gonna add our flour in two stages, so we're gonna sift half the amount of our flour into our cake batter. Give it a good mix around with your whisk or your spatula until the flour is incorporated. Then we're gonna add the remainder of our flour, make sure you're sifting it in. And as you can see, I've switched to a spatula at this point because I find it easier. We're gonna mix until the flour is incorporated into the batter. And finally, you should have this very smooth, beautiful cake batter. Next, it is time to add in our melted butter. Fold the butter into the cake batter and add your milk. At this point, you wanna to try to avoid over mixing, so just fold in the ingredients until they are well incorporated. Now, take a look at this. This is exactly the consistency that we want. Now, let's pour the cake batter into the cake pan or the cake tin or whatever you're using. Make sure you get every bit of that gorgeous cake batter in and give it a few taps on your counter to get any air bubbles out. Now, we're gonna bake our cake in a preheated oven for 25 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. Or approximately 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Once your cake is done, take it out of the oven and set it aside to cool. So my cake is completely cooled and I've taken it out of the cake pan. Now, this step is totally optional, especially if you're gonna be the only one eating the cake, but for presentation purposes, we're gonna whack off the very top of the cake just to make it level. Then we're gonna carefully cut through the center to try and get two even slices of cake. Now, don't worry if you don't get it too perfect because in the end it's still gonna taste awesome. To decorate and finish our cake, we'll also be using some whole strawberries. I'm using six here, some sliced strawberries. I have three tablespoons of sugar and one cup of heavy cream. And I also have some strawberry syrup that I simply made by microwaving some strawberry jam in the microwave until it became watery. First, let's make our whipped cream. We're gonna combine our heavy cream and sugar in a bowl, and we're gonna whisk it or beat it until soft peaks form. 
Now, some people ask me whether they can substitute、um, homemade whipped cream with Cool Whip or ready made whip, but for an authentic Japanese strawberry shortcake, nothing replaces homemade whipped cream. It really makes a difference. Okay, so it's now time to assemble our cake. On that bottom layer of cake, we're going to brush the top of that layer with some of that strawberry sauce that we made. Next, we're going to spread that beautiful homemade whipped cream right on top and try to get it as evenly as you can. Next thing we're going to do is place some of those beautiful sliced strawberries right on top of that whipped cream. Now, if we just stopped here, we could just eat this cake right now and call it a day. But of course not, we're going to continue to build this cake. Add another generous dollop of whipped cream on the beautiful strawberries. Once that's done, get your second layer of cake and brush one side with that beautiful strawberry jam. Now, carefully place that layer of cake right on top of the second layer, jam side down. Now, we're going to frost the entire cake, the top and sides, with all of that delicious homemade whipped cream. Now, This is where you can get as creative as you'd like or keep it as simple as you want. I am not that great of a cake decorator, I admit.、Um, so, this is the way I like to do it. I find this way the easiest for me.、Um, I don't need any special tools. I just use my palette knife or this long spatula or whatever you call this tool. Um, but um, yeah, I think my cake looks pretty darn good. Finally, we're going to decorate it with some whole strawberries and give it a sprinkling of confectioner's sugar. Look at how beautiful this looks. And guess what? Your strawberry shortcake or your Japanese strawberry shortcake is finished. Japanese strawberry shortcake is eaten at, on birthdays, Christmas Day. It's eaten all the time here in Japan. It's one of the favorite cakes of all time here in Japan. So, what do you guys think of this gorgeous Japanese strawberry shortcake? I think it looks beautiful. Itadakimasu. Go. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. The strawberries with the whipped cream. Mmm. Mmm. So, if you agree with me that this is one beautiful cake, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And let us know your requests, comments, and suggestions down in the comments down below. Let us know what you'd like us to make next time. And if you already haven't done so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single episode of Tavi Eats. So, come back tomorrow for another video. And until then, take care. Bye bye.